What's going on Dolphins fans? It's Connor from the Dolphins Dive and in today's video we're doing a player review on Cater Kohu. Now Kohu is coming into his second season off of a really really good rookie season. Before I hop into this player review though I'm running a quick little giveaway on my Twitter account for the Javon Holland shirts that I just dropped. Make sure you check it out. Link will be in the bio and comments. So without further ado we're going to talk right about Cater Kohu and like I just mentioned Coming out of college as an undrafted free agent out of Texas A&M Commerce. I've never heard of that school. But say what you want about Josh Boyer. He had a knack for finding undrafted free agents to perform at very high levels. You think of Nick Needham, obviously Kater Kohu, and he's got a track record all the way dating back to his times in New England. But he's no longer in the picture, but we still have Kater Kohu. And like I said, had a phenomenal rookie season. He made his impact from the first game against New England when he forced that fumble. And... I'm expecting him to carry his momentum from his rookie season into his second season. There is a slight change, obviously, due to scheme changes. We're going from a very man-heavy scheme to a very zone-heavy scheme. So how does that affect Kater Kohu? Now, in my head, I'm like, okay, well, man's harder to play than zone. So if he had success in man, he should have success in zone. But it always doesn't. it doesn't always translate that way. There's a lot of player recognition involved and understanding concepts and understanding your rules within your your play so there is a chance that kohu regresses due to the seam change however i still have the utmost confidence in darth cater um to continue to build off his rookie season to be put in this fangio scheme and have success so obviously the addition of jalen ramsey will hurt his ability to get snaps and kohu played most of his rookie season in the slot um, and that should be interesting to see how they plan to utilize him just because Fangio has a tendency to like safeties or bigger guys in the slot to help fit the run in case they do run the football. So I don't know if they intend to play Cater still in the slot or if they'll have him outside, maybe move Jalen Ramsey in the slot. Uh, Ramsey's played in the slot a lot uh, over the past couple of seasons with LA who ran a very similar scheme. So I'm not sure exactly if they intend to use him as the slot or an outside guy. But guess what? He did both last season. Due to all the injuries the Dolphins secondary faced last season, Kohu played in the slot, he played outside, and he held his own the entire season. He played 969 snaps, nice. Um, and he, he just he held his own. He looked the part, um, constantly making plays on the football. He only had one interception, but he still was all around the ball. And he was very rarely a liability. Like He was rarely ever getting picked on and being targeted. Um, where he didn't look like he belonged and I mean like I said as an undrafted free agent coming up and doing that it was extremely impressive so in my opinion the first two corner jobs are already locked up probably with Xavier and Jalen so you're looking for a third corner and I think Kohu is primed to win that job his main competition is probably going to come down to Cam Smith but Cam Smith being a rookie Kohu showing what he did last year I feel, in my opinion, that he is going to win the third corner job. Um, like I said, who knows how these schemes impact each individual guy, but like I said, the production he had last season, I, I really am confident in Kohu to, to build off of that, and he's proven himself at this level, and I think he's only going to continue to grow and get better as he progresses in the league. So comment down below. Do you think Kohu wins the third corner job? If not, who do you think wins it? But overall, I have high confidence in Kohu to improve in this new defense. And my projection for him as a player, because that's how I'm doing the end of these, he's going to win the third corner job, and he's going to end up with around three interceptions. Now, obviously, that's not a big number, but he had one interception last year. To be fair, though, our scheme last year lacked in getting turnovers. And the whole reason we switched to this Fangio scheme is they make it tough on the quarterback to read the defense, and it leads to more interceptions and turnovers. But... I think he wins the third corner job and gets around three interceptions. And he's not only going to be fighting time for the slot corner job with another corner, but a safety as well. So that's where I do think he's going to run into some challenges in terms of getting as many snaps as he did last season. I just don't see that happening. But that's my player review for Cater Kohu. Comment down below your thoughts on that. I appreciate anybody for watching. It means so much to me. Like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And until next time, I'll catch y'all.